Okay, so we're here at Versus Pro Shop inside Tasquay Park at Montreal. And today we're gonna put a fender onto a deck that's usually bottom mounted. So in some cases, a fender is gonna be super easy to put on. Other times it's gonna be tough, but there's no deck that you cannot get a fender on and we'll show you how it's done right now. Uh, first thing you're gonna wanna do obviously is take off the old brake. You also wanna take the wheel off of the axle. Then you're gonna grab yourself a Sharpie of some kind. We're gonna mark the holes for where we're gonna drill to be able to mount the brake from the top. There's a couple of things you wanna watch out for. You need to leave enough space between the back of the deck and your first hole so that there's not too much strain here. So you're gonna to wanna to leave yourself probably about a half an inch and you're gonna to wanna to do the same thing between your first hole and your second hole. If they're too close together, it's not gonna be strong enough. So what I like to do, I put the wheel on the axle without tightening it. And now I can see what type of room I'm looking at. So that's about as far back as the fender could go. We use our Sharpie. When she's straight, we'll do our front hole. And now that we've got our front hole, take the wheel back off. We're gonna line her up and we'll do our back hole. Another thing you're gonna wanna do is use a punch to start the hole. I actually don't have one, so we'll use this Phillips screwdriver. But I'll put it right dead center of my hole that I've marked. I'll give it a good smack. Yeah. Same thing right here. And what this will do is it'll be a guide for our drill on the first hole. Otherwise your drill can move around. You don't want that. So once you've made your little pilot hole, you're gonna wanna start with a small drill bit and then work your way up. So we'll start with this one. Because we have the, the, the punch hole already and the drill bit is so small, it just fires right through. And with the two holes done, we're gonna go up in size for our bit. So now the bits, well, now the bolt will fit in, but because of the head, we're gonna wanna countersink it. So what we do for that, we're gonna take another bit that's even bigger, bigger -er, and we're gonna go until the cone has reached the bottom of the deck, like so. So now with this shape, she'll sit right in there. It's gonna be stronger and it'll sit lower as well. So you can do that for both holes. All right. <clears throat> Another problem you might encounter is Putting on two bolts, the first bolt's gonna block the second one. And since the bottom of the deck is actually closed, there's no way to hold the bolt tight. So one thing that we can do, once you've got your pieces all together, where's my wrench? I've lost my wrench. Okay. So, since the bottom of the deck is closed and we want to put two bolts in, there's only one technique that I've found that's easy. You're going to take the wrench that fits your nut, 
You can take a piece of tape, a piece of grip tape, whatever. We're gonna close it off on one side. Now, she won't fall through. And we can slide her in that way. Let's take our fender. Take this guy, which is now taped in place. Before we set it too tight, now she's still adjustable. We're gonna put the wheel back on the axle. And we're gonna back the fender up as much as we can to get as much foot space as possible. So with these 12 standard wheels, right about there should be good. Okay, take the wheel back off. the wrench back in there put this bad boy on nice and straight and finish tightening it up and we'll repeat for the second uh, bolt which should go on just as easily since we're still using the piece of tape to hold our nut in place Once the fender's on, you throw your wheel back on. And just like that, you've got a top mounted fender, fender, a top mounted fender on what's usually a bottom mounted deck. There you go. And that's it.